Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Jscape MFD server agent on a Linux host. The first thing we'll need to do on our Linux host is to create what we call a root path. This is basically a directory where files will be copied to or copied from. In this example, I'm going to name that directory syncdir. I'm going to take note of this directory's path, as we'll be needing this when we install our MFT server agent. I'm now going to the directory where I want to install the agent. So I'm going to install the agent in the opt directory. To download the agent installer, I'll just run the wget command and paste the URL of the installer. I don't have a web browser here on my Linux host, so let me just quickly hop into my Windows machine. So I'm now here in the agent installer download page where I intend to grab the URL of the Linux installer. But there's a problem. As you can see, the link doesn't point to a file. Fortunately, there's a workaround. If you click on that link, it's going to start downloading the file. So we can just grab the URL from there and then paste that URL into the wget command like this. And we can start downloading. Now that the download has completed, let's just copy the file name of the downloaded file and run the unzip command on it. Once the unzipping completes, you'll see a folder named jscape underscore mft underscore server underscore agent. Let's navigate into that folder. Um, before we do anything else, let me first go to my jscape mft server machine. I want to see the agent name of the trading partner I created for this particular agent. If you don't know how to create a trading partner agent, you can watch the video how to set up an agent service and agent trading partner. You can click the link in the description or in the post. We'll also need the IP address of our MFT server host. So now I can go back to my Linux host and run the agent configuration tool. So these are the parameters you need to enter for agent configuration. We need to enter the uh, host name or IP address of our MFD server host, the port number of the agent service. The default number is 40025, the agent username and password, the connection attempt interval. Let's just enter 10 seconds here. Uh, the root path. This is the directory we created at the start of this video. And since we don't need this agent to run any native commands for now, let's just set the native process parameter to disallow. Okay, we're all set. Let's now fire up this agent. And if we go back to our MFT server administrative web interface and go to the domain that's running our agent service, and go to overview and sessions we should see an entry representing the agent running on our remote Linux host that's it now you know how to install an agent on